So Barry's jacking up the trailer. We looked at, uh, this is the Grand Design 2600 RB. So there was some debate on the Facebook page about uh, whether our axles are Lippert or Dexter. So Barry saw that there are, at least on the 2600 RB, they are Dexter based. And uh, so uh, Barry's getting the wheels off. I like them, but don't, don't wear pants that you're gonna wear anywhere else. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, turd, turd. Oh, speed. Yeah, ah, it's coming off. Just gotta be patient. It's worse than the other side for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, worked as intended. Yeah. Squirted it in the little nipple there and it came out down around the Pushed races. Pushed out grease out. Yeah. Well, a lot of grease in this one. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh ah. Ew! Oh, my old shoes, but... <laughs> Stacy's not oh, going to be shit. happy with you in my shoes, man. Those are my good socks. Ah! Oh. that grease off there so we can get to the it's a little clip that holds that bolt i mean the the nut on the big nut that nut actually is just almost freewheeling it's like hand tightened and it's a uh, like about an eighth inch out from being fully in so it doesn't really it's not holding the yeah it doesn't i mean it's not really holding the hub well i guess it is but it's not tight, it's just kind of... It, yeah, you can, you can see, see it kind of wiggle back and forth. I mean, that nut's just barely... But it doesn't come off because it's got that clip on it. Yeah. The clip is the only thing holding the whole thing together. Yeah. <laughs> this little flimsy little brass clip yeah. is holding the whole wheel on. Well, I guess the six lugs hold the, the, the wheel on, but you know. Yeah. They just get that screwdriver up underneath there and lift it out. Well... Yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly like, like you just <laughs> yeah. described. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Get it around the edges. Rip it off. I like it off of one spot and then it works back on the other. Yeah. There it goes. Perfect. Yeah. So now that nut will just free wheel all the way off. So it just freely comes off. No, not hard at all, no tool needed. So underneath that nut is a big washer. And we'll pull that off next. Every now and then it's hard to get that yeah. little nut off. It, right at the end, I don't know if there's a burr or what on the edge of that, uh, of that shaft, but uh, sometimes it'll uh, channel lock. So you just get a little channel lock and a little wrench and get past that little burr and it'll come off. Yeah, I haven't made it past it yet. Yep. Nope. I mean, still, with these, it's super easy to turn. Mm-hmm. Cleaning off, so put them, put them down in the order that we take them off, so. Put them back on is easy. Now there's a washer up inside there. It's hard to tell. It's bringing the bearing, oh, it's bringing with, the bearing it with it. So yep. washer and the bearing are coming out. This uh, particular axle's got about 15,000 miles on it. So the, the nice, beautiful red um, grease that was in it is no longer red. It's just kind of, I don't know, kind of blackened and coffee looking and it's more thin so it's obviously not doing its job like it should have hence the reason we're repacking them come on out of there so barry's gonna pull it out we always want to check and make sure it's not notchy or anything he's kind of spinning mm -hmm. around and the races look good yeah. so far all the races have been in good shape mm -hmm. and the bearings yeah but 
Yeah, it's definitely time for a repack. Yeah. I agree that the Dexter Easy Lube system does work. I mean, we've seen evidence that, you know, you squirt grease in that Zerk mm -hmm. and it works it in there, but def, I mean, you can see that needed to be changed out. Mm -hmm. So I think the Easy Lube system is a good system, but it's only it's probably just designed to, you know, put some grease in there between your repack uh, jobs. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we'll notice that the, at the very back end of that shaft is two little exit holes that the grease pops out and it goes through the inner bearing through it and then comes down through the shaft around the edges of the shaft. And then it comes through the outer bearing and then it comes out of the edge of that, uh, that washer that came off with the, with the outer bearing. And it pulls off. Yeah, it looks just like the other three. Yeah, some, nasty. Some tiny bit of grease got back behind the seal somehow. Oh, it did, didn't it? Yeah. All so, four of them have been that way. Yeah. And you can see where the grease goes down the side. You know, Barry put in some red grease. You can see where it started working its way back up towards the front. Mm -hmm. But it was just, it was time to get everything changed. Barry's just wiping off all that nasty old thin grease and then we got to get this seal out and those seals of have... man those things are hard to get out i, I don't see... some folks say that you can blow the seals out by pumping grease in too hard no but man way. i'm telling you those things are a pain That's they are a happen. booger to get out dexter on there does it say dexter mm -hmm. oh it does say dexter you see the ter right there yep all right so barry's gonna try to pop this seal out with his we actually, I, I had a little cheaper seal puller and it bent it all up. We barely ended up having to go buy another one uh, up at the auto shop. Keep your greasy fingers out of the inside of the hub. Oh no, <laughs> you keep, didn't do the greasy fingers uh, on the inside I keep doing of the... that, but I've got to yeah. grab it somehow. Yeah, you don't want to get the, Wait, the... There's a bunch of brake dust in there. Ooh. Yeah, dump that old greasy brake dust out of there. That'll make life easier. Pull that, and it is a, kind of if you give it quick pops, it works better, you know, than just a heavy, sturdy pull. Uh, we actually used a crowbar on one of them. The crowbar works really well. So this is the, the seal that is closest to the axle itself. And there's a bearing sitting, the inner bearing is sitting right behind it. But you see how hard it is to pop this thing. I mean, he's really getting on it to try to get that seal out. I mean, they're press fit in there really good. <sighs> Keep missing them. Yeah. Get the rubber part. <laughs> Just to keep working. Hey, there we go. So that's what it looks like when it comes out. You see the nasty. It got a little bit of red in there, but red and tacky. But it was kind of. Getting mocha colored. That goes to the trash bin. $25 for a set of two for those seals, by the way. Barry's gonna clean all that out and get that inner bearing out. What in the world? Did it get a stick in there? Where is that a, is that metal? No. What did that come from? What is that? That was not... It's a spring. In, oh, that's the spring from the spring. Uh, that spring, it goes on the inside of that seal, dude. Oh, yeah, so we that was need that's, it. Yeah, that seal you just pulled out, that spring was in it. Wow. Yeah, it runs around the edge. Okay. Uh, the, the, that little spring actually is running on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. It's right on the edge of that, that rubber section. That spring just kind of runs around the edge of it. So it just broke out with the seal puller. Okay, so yeah, you see this? That was some nasty grease. That grease started out as, as red, yeah, and it has just worked itself. Yeah, the red and tacky. That's what it's supposed, like. supposed to look like. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. Wow. So we're going to get all that out, clean it up, and repack it. Wiping it out. Nice and clean and shiny. 
Probably spray a little brake cleaner on this rotor too. Just make sure there's no grease on it and get all the brake dust out of it. Get that spindle nice and clean and we'll, we'll show you all how that, what it does. There's actually two little holes towards the back where his thumb is right there that uh, the grease comes out and it uh, flows down the side of the shaft and comes out of the, the outer bearing. Make sure you don't get any of that grease on the brake shoes or Which luckily the rotors. Or on the outside. So. Yeah. These pads still look pretty good. They're pretty. Still got some substance to them, so I don't think we need to ch change the pads out. We've already done three tires already, and they all, all look good as far as the pads. All right. I'll spray this down a little bit, just get all the... The dust and stuff off of it. Clean off the pads so they get a good grip on the rotors. Okay. I love trailer maintenance. I'm just going to spray that rotor out make sure we don't have any fingerprints or grease or anything on the inside of it that would not be good it would not i try to be careful not to put any spray down in there where the grease is going to be because you just don't want to leave any brake cleaner in there that might be breaking down the grease prematurely or anything may not be a big deal but we preferred not to get the brake cleaner down where the grease is supposed to be packed here shortly I barely just sprayed off the bearing real good with brake cleaner, it all cleaned up. Try to knock it out, get that old nasty stuff out of there. Yeah. Spray on, get that bearing all cleaned out. Somewhat. Nothing like being in a clothes shop with <laughs> brake cleaner. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fumes yeah. are lovely. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, so this is the, the Dexter nipple. This is how it works. If you notice, this regular grease gun on the end and he squirts it in. You see that grease coming out back there? There's one over there and there's one over, well. Nothing came out of this one. Nothing came out of the one on the right side, mm. but the left side it came out. So that seal, the rear seal actually seats up back oh crap back there so where that grease comes out is right at the that was one full one full squeeze, squeeze. came out of one side we didn't really get any come out of the other side i'll give it another one see if any comes out this side yeah all right we're gonna try to get it to come out the other side i'll put my finger on the there left one goes. there it goes now we're getting that old nasty yeah. grease out of there too i think there was some crud in there yeah one thing to note is that the inner bearing has a bigger inner diameter because it has to fit that thickened portion back there towards the back back up in here so uh, the outer bearing is going to be on this thinner portion of the spindle so that's how you can tell the difference in your two bearings the one on the outside has a has a smaller inner diameter which is the one closest towards the rotor up there above us barry's about to pack them down he's getting some fresh gloves on so he can get his red and tacky out all right, so Barry's getting his red and tacky out. Get a good palm full. And so there's a way of packing them so you push that old grease out. So it kind of pushes down into his palm. And that pushes the old grease up towards the top of the inner race. You'll start to see it oozing out here in a second. Here and I'll just wipe it down. The light helps any better. But you see that, that black grease coming out of the top? We're going to wipe that off here in a second. All right, so now, got a little bit. You don't want to push it back down in it, so you kind of want to roll away as you go around. See, so you're not pushing it back down in there. You're actually getting it off of, getting it off of it. You just keep... That's a pulling. third... Third time I dip grease out of there. Yeah. Just pack it in your palm. 
press it down until it comes out comes out of the top wipe off the black and repeat all right so Barry's just running a little bit of a little bit of grease down in where the outer race of the bearing is going to go also he's lubing up where the uh where we're going to press in that uh press in that out that inner seal as well now the one seal i mean there's no and there's no outer so just the one seal so you got the bearing down flush and now we're going to press in that seal okay so here's a half of 25 dollars 12.50 for this uh yeah, it does have the little uh, spring on the on the outside of this little rubber deal. But anyway, so you, we got the got the bearing down in there. We're gonna press our seal, try to get it as flush as possible because that thing gets cattywampus. It is a it's a pain to get in there. So now what we found is when we were beating on it, we we're dropping dust and everything else. So we just put a clean paper towel over the top. Got our got our block of wood and just. Kind of start tapping around the edges there. So to see a little bit better. It's actually easier to see it without doing the wood, but we will use the wood one at some point. I like to see what I'm doing. All right, so finally got it. Kind of tap on different ends, you know, right, left, front, back. Just keep going until you get that thing down in there flush. Tapping that in. Barry went and got squeezed the, out some more old grease. Squeezed out some more nastiness. So we're going to help him out by rolling some of this old black grease off the top. I also found that uh, if I press down on the uh, the bearing itself into my palm, as you're wiping, it kind of forces the. Oh, it helps makes get it. it yeah, kind of Get the black nastiness out of there better, huh? Yep. Make sure you have plenty of shop towels and rubber gloves for these things because it's nasty. Mm -hmm. All right, so from this point, got our stuff packed, got our inner seal done. So now it's time to go on to the hook, to the spindle. It's on there good. Barry will follow up with the with this freshly packed bearing. Make sure you put the skinny side in first. Skinny side in first. Or skinny side or well, narrower in, or the smaller. Inner or diameter yeah. side, I guess. <laughs> we found if you kind of rotate the the rotor a little bit, it'll Alright, it's in. It'll go in easier. Okay, washer. And we got our washers next. The washer. All right. Oh, Barry, put that on. Okay. And we've got our nuts. Right. Yeah. It's uh. Hmm. And I may not have it the right, right direction in there, too, but I may have to flip it over. Yeah, it's going. Is it going now? Yeah. Oh, there's that burr. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Found it. No, oh, but it's... Once you get yeah. past it, it's good. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm making it. All right. Now we're getting it pressed down. So we had that washer, then we had the nut, and then next we're going to put the nut clip on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what it's technically <laughs> called, but hey! <laughs> Uh, so you, I guess you get it all the way tight and then you back it up. Back a off bit. just like an eighth of a turn. And we get our clip. Put that clip over the top to keep that thing from unwinding and coming off. That's difficult. You got to get that nut at just the right part so that it'll yeah. clip around the edges of the is that hexagon octagon uh, hexagon i think Some, something a gun yeah something with a gun there oh there you go 
You gotta get it flushed down, oh, top and bottom. Royal mess. Like I said, that, that, that nut still, it still freely moves a little bit, but uh, but it won't come off because that clip will retain it, so. Barry's just wiping off the excess around the edge there, just getting it cleaned up a little bit. So when we squirt into the into that nipple right there, you'll see it squirting around the edges from underneath that, uh, that washer on the inside by that bearing. So Stacy's checking up on us, seeing that we're doing our dude. Do oh, she brought us water. She's the best ever. So we found on the other ones about 20 squirts is where we needed to be on the on the grease gun to. Oh yeah, and we would rotate it. So I'm gonna help him because he's having to hold it with one and squirt with the other. But just squirt, moving this around just kind of helps get that grease down the side of that spindle between the bearings and to come out of that outer bearing. Something I noticed on the other tires when I was spinning it, Ooh, I think I just kind of felt it right there little, where it gets a little bit easier to spin just as that grease fills it up. Seventeen. Twenty team. Nasty. Nasty, nasty job. So last thing is you gotta put that little cap back on. Yeah. Getting his hammer time. Going to star pattern. And this packing is complete. So in summary, it's a dirty job. You need plenty of shop towels. Gives you that red and tacky grease that works really well. Um, those seals, $25 for the seals. Check your uh, bearings, make sure they're not notchy. You don't want to put a notchy bearing back in because it's just going to uh, cause your problems down the road. Uh, we went through a can and a half of brake cleaner, I believe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, what was the millimeter on the lugs? Barry, was it 17? 19. 19. 19 on the lugs for the grand design wheels, so...